Hi everyone, I uh, hope you're having a great day wherever you are. I'm uh, having a great time here uh, back at the office uh, trying to learn some new things. Uh, just uh, seeing how I can uh, make things work for uh, Facebook Live, maybe add that to my toolkit of things that I can draw on. Uh, so, uh, and as, uh, as they say, it's always good to learn new things, or uh, maybe it's uh, you can't teach an old dog a new trick, but. Uh, uh, maybe I'm not an old dog just yet. Uh, so uh, glad to be back with you. Uh, I've been off for a few days, as you probably recognized, uh, and I am feeling uh, a lot better. Thanks for all your prayers and uh, your well wishes, and I uh, hope to uh, uh, feel better and better every day. Uh, just uh, not 100% yet, but uh, doing a lot better uh, today, uh, and uh, uh, Lord willing, we'll feel even better tomorrow. Uh, as I've been uh, uh, spending some time pondering, I, uh, I think of uh, those uh, psalms that are uh, in the center uh, back section of uh, our psalms. In fact, uh, they, uh, they're right around the 120s. And they're a specific group called the Psalms of Ascent. And uh, they got that, uh, that title because they were the psalms that uh, the people of Israel would sing as they ascended their way up to Jerusalem. Uh, from the lowlands up to up through the foothills up to uh, the the mount of the temple and as they would arrive as they would make their way there and arrive eventually for the festivals uh, they would sing themselves these songs they would sing these songs to each other it was a way for them to teach the next generation the great truths of God and it was uh, a great way for them to remind each other of the good news of Jesus Christ and that, that good news of what God had done. And so as they sang those psalms of ascent, they would sing each other the truth and they would remind uh, themselves of uh, that rock solid truth of God. Uh, one of them uh, has been uh, uh, running around through my, uh, my head over the last little while because uh, there's a song uh, that's uh, based on Psalm 126 that has become a, a favorite of mine over uh, the uh, the time of this pandemic. Uh, the song is titled, We Will Feast in the House of Zion. Uh, when it's, uh, it's based on a familiar psalm, Psalm 126. I want to read a portion of that for us today. Uh, it says there at the beginning of the psalm, When the Lord brought back the captives to Zion, we were like men who dreamed. Our mouths were filled with laughter, our tongues with songs of joy. Then it was said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, and we are filled with joy. I'm trusting that uh, you're filled with joy as uh, you uh, reflect on the great things that God has done. I, I'm filled with joy as I think of uh, the many great things that God has done uh, for me and for us as a family, uh, for us as a church family. And uh, I can thank the Lord for uh, his many good things. And I'm trusting that uh, those who observe and who uh, watch us, uh, those who uh, see us might say that same thing, that the Lord has done great things for them. Hope you're having a great day. God bless you wherever you are.